This is probably my favorite thing ever in the world. I don't know how. I'm so good at Shut down. <laughs> On our way to go and pick up our embroidery machine. Woohoo! Oh, poor Albus and Percy. Yeah, check them up there. They don't need too much <laughs> so, we're going to pick up our embroidery machine. We have to pay the rest of it, which I'm not excited about. But um, I'm really excited because excited. we haven't really had any dog mum apparel for a long time. Like, I've had bits here and there, mm. but. But we got the, um, when we started our dog mummage at Trademark, we got from overseas embroidered apparel. Um, and that sold really well, but it was just too expensive. By the time you pay all the shipping and everything on it, my God. And then you get stuck with designs if they don't sell well, because you obviously have to get it pre-made. Um, so yeah, we haven't had proper apparel for a really long time and we wanted to bring it back and we thought you know what why don't we do it ourselves because then we can customize stuff and we will get an embroidery machine was it a good idea we don't know yet <laughs> <laughs> have we just wasted ten thousand dollars possibly but um i'm excited what do you think about it i think it'll be really good because yeah. then we can customize whatever we like we can do dog logos, we can do our mummy gel logo, we can That's do whatever right. we like. And then you've only got to buy in the apparel. Yes. And then we can just put on whatever we want. Yes. And we won't get stuck with anything. Mm. I think it'll be good. Yes. So that's the tea. We've also got the um, semi-industrial machine in the back because we're going to get that serviced because it's been a while. We've been making a lot of things on it. So that's the tea. <coughs> So we thought we'd just make a little bit of a vlog of us getting our machine. It's an hour's drive away where we go. There is only the one sewing machine centre that services in uh, the northern part of Tasmania. And Jan's really making out like an hour's drive is a lot. But for us in Tassie, it is a lot. It, it's country <laughs> roads. So <laughs> it's hour. it's not like when I lived in Adelaide and you, you know, zoom on the highway. No, 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 no. It's, We're going the back way, bro. Yeah. We are going yeah. rural car sick stuff i mean we could have stuff. technically gone back into launceston and gone on the highway but like i don't have time for that so we're going the back way we're okay. going the roscoe way yes. this is og roscoe way when i was a kid we'd go yeah. this way and we would vomit yeah. so you can yes. thank roscoe for that so yes. anyway we um see what the team they is. were going to deliver it but their van has broken down today so we said no we're not waiting any longer you know how it's really hard to get like good customer service nowadays? Yeah. yeah. We said, look, we, we'll pick it up. Ten weeks delivery, which is fine, but then they've just had it for like three weeks and we keep calling up being like, so can we get it? And they're all like, nah, we'll bring it to you, bitch. No, I want my machine. So we're driving down and we're going to be boss ass bitches and we're going to get it ourselves. And then we're going to drive into the office after this. We're going to meet Roscoe there and we're going to attempt to get it up the stairs. I don't know how heavy it is. We think it weighs about 230 kilos. I don't actually know if that's true, so... but we will see. <laughs> we will see. Could be very, very, The dude very, that owns very their heavy. sewing business is an old man and his name's also Ross. Um, so if he can, like, get it and set it up, I don't think it's going to be that heavy. But we'll see. So I will stop recording now because we're about to go through all the windiness, the back roads, um, and we'll update you when we get it. Yeah. So bye, bitches. You've got it. If you can see it. <laughs> it only just fits in the car. It's that big. Um, we had a quick little lesson on how to use it and how to thread it. And honestly, I'm feeling pretty confident. Do you feel confident? <laughs> no, Jen doesn't. I let you watch it. You I'm can... feeling confident because we have a lot of t-shirts that we can use as um, like testers or whatever. Um, and all the designs that I've made are pretty well the same colours. Like I've sort of just done like pink, red, black, white, 
so that's pretty easy. Um, eventually, <coughs> oh, let's go to the chocolate factory. Yeah. <laughs> let's go to Amber's. I didn't know that was there. Oh <laughs> my God, I want a truffle. I'll stop. No, we haven't had lunch. Come on. No, it's um, strong. Yeah, eventually we're going to get like every single thread colour that they basically make because for those of you that don't know, embroidery thread comes in every single colour of the rainbow because um, we want to do dogs. I want to do that one day. Like you can get your dog personalised mm -hmm. on you think because the embroidery machine is 15 thread, 15 needle. So, um, you know, you can do something that's like 15 colours. So that's the tea. We're now driving to the office, which is like an hour away. Actually, it's probably more than that anyway. Um, hopefully get some lunch somewhere because I'm starving. We're going to make Roscoe come in to take it upstairs mm -hmm. because we have to take it upstairs because some dickhead decided that she would get an office upstairs. An office on the first floor. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Honestly, it's not that. I'll just hold this while we go around and around. Yay! We're cruising. Got Fresh's car going for tonight. Mm. <laughs> so that's the tea. I'm excited. Um, I don't know if Jenny's excited. Yeah. I'll just let you do what you do. Whatever. So anyway, um, I was in Percy. <laughs> we keep falling down. So we will update you once we get to the office. And will I be doing a TikTok? Yes, I have an idea for it, so we're going to be doing that. Right. I'm really excited, like, just to film this on TikTok. <laughs> I I really like embroidery videos always come up on my TikTok, and it's just like people hooping it up, and then they show the embroidery and then show the after thing, and I just really like it. So I'm excited to do that because it's going to make us TikTok famous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because it is. And then, yeah, we put it on YouTube. So I'll be forwarding and we also have to spend like 10 grand on it. So we have to make it good for something. We have to do something to recoup yeah, the money, don't we? Yes. Um, also, don't know when this vlog will go out, but 50% off sale for 24 hours for e-offy. Yes. Um, no, this vlog probably won't go out by then. So if you missed oh, it. Oh, we'll make sure it does. <laughs> if you missed it, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, that's the tea. That's so, in, what's today? Tuesday. Today's so Tuesday. Another two days. No, I'm going to start tomorrow night. Oh, okay. We're Try only going to do it for six hours and then let's go go karting. Mm -hmm. um, I was only going to do it for six hours and then I thought, but like Americans and things probably won't be awake and that's kind no. of unfair. So, um, yeah, we're going to do it for more 24 hours only. And yes, we only did just do a birthday sale, but I just feel like we need to report the people because everyone else is doing the off and then we're not. And I think people think, oh, well, you call it bitches. They're not mm. giving us any money. So. Yeah, that's the tea. So anyway, um, I'll update you when we're in the office and I'll ask Roscoe what he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I didn't film when we brought it into the office yesterday, so it's now Wednesday. Um, Cause getting this up the stairs, three people, three people it took so hard. But anyway, here she is. <laughs> Look at it, it's all threaded up and ready to go. I mean, look at the beautiful colours that we got. <laughs> this is just what um, our sewing people had spare. So that's what's on there, but there's like some black, some whites, and that's good because we're going to use those. So this is what's cracker like in. This is what's going on. So it comes on this stand. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Um, might be able to put something there from, I feel like a Kmart would have something like a bit of a stackable shelf situation. So maybe. Maybe I'll get something, but this is the tea. Um, I learned how to thread it, so I'm a pro. Um, we've got all these, but they come through and then it goes down here through the tube, little spaghetti tube, and then goes around all these special little dials down in here, down in here, down in all the needles. So this is a 15 needle, um, which is very special because obviously most embroidery machines that you guys have probably seen um, especially with other dog businesses using them um, they have one one needle which obviously means every time they have a new color they have to change the thread we don't have to do that because um, we've got a 15 needle situation so um, I think I said yesterday that the majority of our stuff that I've designed so far is like pink red white black maybe purple um, 
so you know we'll be keeping those colors on all the time it'll really only be if we start to do like dog portraits and things that we'll have to have a lot of different like browns and creams and things but this is a situation we've got going on so i'm actually about to try and use it for the first time um i'm going to i bought my um my macbook it came with a usb which is actually really good because i do have my own usb but i'm going to try and put my designs on there and see how we go so i'll keep you updated okay my designs are showing up i put the usb in um and they're showing up so that's a really good sign obviously the colors are absolutely gorgeous like you can tell this blue and lime green situation but um yeah they're all on there so it's looking promising it's looking promising obviously i just have to make sure that i actually like do the right colors but um you know i think i'll be okay i'm gonna play around with it um i might just do a dog bummer just situation to begin with something simple um i've got these t-shirts here these are our crop ones that i don't really like them um i'm normally a crop t-shirt person but i don't like these for some reason there's nothing wrong with the quality or anything i just don't like the croppedness i feel like it's a really awkward length at least for me so i'm gonna use these if they end up being okay i'm gonna sell them <laughs> we'll give them away either way but yeah we're gonna use these we're gonna play around with these ones um and then these scoop next ones i don't like these jan likes these though so i might make her one actually that's what i'll do i'll make her one and then when she comes back because she's getting her nails done that's all she ever does she doesn't even do any work she's only ever getting like her nails and shit done but when she comes back I'm going to have made her a dog mummager t-shirt. So, um, these are the hoops. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to hoop up a t-shirt. And we'll see what happens. I'll update you when I get it going. Okay. Don't laugh at me. I need to go and get some better interfacing or stabiliser because this one, this is like a special tear away one, but, um when i'm using stretch fabrics which these t-shirts are like hella stretchy um it's best to use like an iron-on stabilizer so i'm gonna go and get some of that in a minute because spotlight's only just around the corner this is the first attempt don't laugh at me honestly i mean it looks pretty terrible but that was just because um the stabilizer is too not stabilizy enough you know what i mean so you can see here it actually started out really well and then the stabilizer was like just fuck kidding so once i get that sorted like if you look at it from far away i also scaled this down by 50 percent because i wasn't sure how big it was gonna be um probably didn't need to so that's the tea so it does work um also this thread i was just using this thread because like why would i waste the thread but i think this could be the issue because obviously this is like dog shit poo poo that was just spare from our sewing dude so um i've got a reel of like the proper 15 dollar a roll stuff so i might actually put that on um i'm gonna go and get the stabilizer like the proper iron on shingy majiggy and then I think I'm going to put the proper thread on just to, you know, I've got to give, I've got to give myself, you know, like the proper tools and equipment, which is hard because you obviously want to just use sheet stuff when you're starting out because you don't want to waste good thread and stuff. But then sheet thread equals sheet quality. So I'm going to go and get some stabilizer, some proper iron on stabilizer. I feel like this possibly could be okay for bandanas which i might even try in a minute because our bandana material i feel like i've got one here actually there's something wrong with this one so i might actually just use this but um it's not stretchy so i feel like with that i could get away with that stabilizer um yeah so i might give that a go and just see how that works um but yeah <laughs> it's a mess so i will I'm, I'm gonna update you when i get like a good a good run on it okay but I've worked out how to use it. It took me, it probably took me a good half an hour to work out like how to, it had, we did a file yesterday, like a holly, just holly text to practice um, at the sewing place. And I couldn't work out how to like cancel that. So it wanted to like keep embroidering that. And I'm like, no, thanks. <laughs> but I figured out how to do it now. There's this button down here. Um, that little one in the corner. Ooh, see, 
cancel emb cancel emb yeah so um yeah but i'm really happy the fact that the um designs go on straight away because um embroidery software is like a thousand dollars so i was gonna be really annoyed if it didn't work but it does and that's my usb so that's good um yes yeah, so i will update you once i get good stabilizer use the good thread and all that jazz it's gonna obviously take a lot of um finessing but once we get it down pat it's gonna be really good and the good thing about it is the thread actually broke once um and when the thread breaks like the machine stops it doesn't keep going like your um those little embroidery machines that everyone uses like the cheap 500 dollars ones from spotlight or whatever um i'm pretty sure when the thread breaks on those it just keeps going so then you have to be like oh shit the thread's broken and i didn't realize five minutes ago and then you gotta go all the way back this one automatically stops and the same with like if for some reason it was going to go out of scope of the area of the hoop it stops so it's really good um yes yeah, so i will keep working on it and i will update you I'm gonna get Jan in. I'm gonna force her to help me. <laughs> I finally did something. I did this on the bandana, skipped a few stitches. I didn't know how to go back at the time, but I do now. So I made a bandana and that's what that looks like. Very cute. And then I did this. I'm doing a vlog. My dog said no. Look how good it is. I just use the colors that were on the machine because I could be bothered re-threading, but that is what it looks like. Look how good it is. And it only took us a million years and then the machine kept being all stupid and we realized that the bottom was empty. So <laughs> that was really fun. So let's see if I can get up close so you can see all the details. So cute. What do you think, Jan? I think it's really good. Annoying because we don't really know what we're doing, but <laughs> but that was only like our second garment. Yeah, we'll get there. And then we'll that get there. was pretty good. I mean, it's off center, and I did skip the stitches, but I now know how to go back. So I know how to go back. It's all learning. We're just practicing. Yeah. So look how good it looks. Yeah. And this is you know stupid stretchy material, and we managed to get it right because I got the mm. proper interfacing. So that's the embroidery machine. There she is. Mm -hmm. Big Bertha. So your Big Bertha. That's what we're calling it. So. <laughs> Um, I'll do some other nice things. Oh, I wanted to call it Amazing Emma. Emma the Embroidery Machine. Emma the Embroidery Machine. I yeah. guess we could. I it like sounds it. nicer, no. <laughs> Emma's a classy. Isn't it? Okay, it's Emma. Happy Monday. Today is... What's the date, Jen? The 4th of July. Oh, happy 4th of July, America. Um... It's been a while. I didn't film when I was um, making all this just because I wanted to get the embroidery machine down pat and I have. So I'm going to give you an up close view of everything I've done so far. I've still got some others to do, which I'm going to do today while we're packing orders from at 50% off sale. We're still doing that. Um, but I thought I would just give you an up close view because I haven't done that yet. I have put these on Instagram but it was kind of like a far away thing. So I'm gonna give you up close and personal. YouTube people are first. So this is the first one. Treat doggos with kindness. I love the red on the like light pinkish color. So that's my vibe, excuse the crushedness. Don't have time to be ironing. Dog mummy jar, obviously gotta have a staple. Um, I think I'm going to do this block style on the sweatshirts and then on the hoodies I'll do like the cursive dog mummy job. Just for something a little bit different. So red, once again on the pink. And then white on the black. Classic. I've also fixed this so that the stitching is a little bit tighter. I mean, it still looks fine, but I'm anal about that, so. Um, people be gone. This one did stuff up a little bit because my, um, stabilizer wasn't long enough you can see that it didn't catch down there but you know it's my simple it's fine so people be on spray <laughs> so many people loved that one on instagram my dog said no a classic on the black and also a classic people suck because yeah they do Alrighty, and then to the hoodies 
I think I'm going to do this one a little bit bigger as well because it just, I don't know, I think it's a bit small. Also, if you can see some weird like brownish staining, I burnt it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just ignore that. But girls just want to have dogs on the pink. Stunning. Also, the quality of these um, apparel items is absolutely amazing. Stitching is awesome. Um, and these hoodies aren't super thick either. They're like a medium weight with the anti-peel fleecing. So they're going to be really nice. Dogs are my favorite people. Orange on orange. Love it. This one also had a little bit of a, a design flaw in the embroidery file. So um, whatever. But I will fix that. So I just want to hang with my dog. Something a little bit deep. And then the last one. This is probably my favorite one. My dog and I talk shit about you. Yeah, we do. And that's what that one looks like. On the orange, the purple and the orange. Amazing. So that's all I've done so far. Is this stand gonna collapse? Probably. Whatever. Um, look at the bend in that. Oops, it's probably gonna collapse. Um, so that's what we've got going on so far. I'm going to make some more today i have some other designs and some extra things here i don't know how we're going to sell these because obviously we have to buy in all the apparel and it's really damn expensive so i think i might do like a a pre-order situation um yeah so that's the tea um i'll load this up in a minute with a new design and i'll film a bit of it to show you so this is the design I'm going to do, quite simple. Here, two pat dogs. I'm going to put on a black hoodie. So I'm going to show you, um, I guess, the process of making one thing. I'm going to set you up there. Um, and we're going to hoop up this hoodie. It's very fluffy. That's all I'm going to say. It looks like crap. Look at it. It's the only problem with black apparel. So, I'm going to grab my hoop, um, I'm going to grab my stabiliser, that's not the one I want, I need an iron on stabiliser, and I'm just going to measure it, I obviously want it bigger than the hoop so that it catches, and then I'm going to roll up the bottom so that I can get in there. And then I'm going to pop this under and I'm going to iron it on. So um, I'll go do that and then be back. All right. So the interfacing is stucketh. And then my little secret. Now, I don't know if this is actually something that people will do when they embroider, but I've come up with it. So, um... It could be my own unique idea. I could have stolen it. I don't really know. But um, I don't have this design. So actually, hang on a sec. Okay, I'm back. So what I do is I print off the design in the actual size it's going to be. And then I grab my shirt alignment tool that I was using for our iron-on stuff. It's just a bit of thread there. Um, and I line that up and then make sure that it's even and I grab pins I also don't know why I'm doing this like a tutorial because none of you even care <laughs> I just thought I would show you you know I worked this out in basically a day so I'm gonna put it about there I like to have it a bit higher up because if you've got big titties um, you know we want to be able to see the design am I right so I pin that into place just so that when I'm hooping I can make sure it's in the center so um, undo that a little bit so I put that under and try and get it as centered as possible which I think that's gonna be good okay and then take that off and we're now going to go over to our machine. As you can see, that's the last thing I embroidered. 
uh, cancel. Uh, gonna go into my USB and you'll be able to see all my pre-files. Um, so I'm looking for here to pat dogs, which is probably on the last page. There it is. Okay, I don't know why it went forward. So here to pat dogs. I'm gonna save it. Uh, here will do. I don't actually care what the names are because I can see what they look like. So we're going to go to the colours. Um, I want to do a hot pink, I think. Well, actually, no, I might do it that pink over there, which you can see this one, which is colour 12. So I'm going to select 12. As you can see, the colours aren't spot on. That's the closest I can get to decipher which ones are which. I'm going to go to this. Uh, I'm going to confirm it. We're doing hoop C. it's going to move and make sure that it actually fits as you can see it fits nicely in this hoop once again probably could have sized down but um whatever so i'm going to quit out of that um and we're just going to start it should be right the bobbin should have thread in it um we're just going to let that go now So we unhoop it. Before I take the stabilizer off, I'm going to cut. Um, you can see it has all like the, I don't know, joint threads. So we go through and cut them. I usually use a pair of tweezers to sort of pull it. And then I cut it. This is the worst part of the process because some of those other designs that I showed you earlier that we've done, oh my God, they had so many threads. Orinky dorinky. So I'm going to give this a press and then I will show you the final product. A little countdown. It's the final countdown. Also, normally I'd make the inside look a lot nicer, but um, it's only for me, really. So I ain't got time for that. I'm going to show you the nitty gritty and then the camera went flash. So that's just rude. So here it is. I don't know how well it's going to pick up the colour because this camera is questionable. Maybe if I zoom in really far, you can see it's like a really nice Barbie pink. It says here to pat dogs. Let me just set you up. I'll set you up here and I'll just hold it and show you. Imagine that it's on me. How cute is it? Ah, love it so much. So I'm now going to pack orders. Um, and I'll probably do some other embroidery today because I've got all those over there. Um, and then I will update you all on those. Just did another design. And this is probably my favorite thing ever in the world. I don't know how. I'm so that about everything. Shut down. <laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna show the color because for some reason when I film this hoodie it always looks gross but it's like an orangey peachy sort of color it just doesn't show it very well on the camera but whatever dog manager so I've done the cursive on the hoodies and then obviously what I showed you before I've got the block print on the sweatshirts just in case you forgot like a um, they I should have probably done purple. But anyway, the red's cool. So that's that. Dog manager. Oh yeah, and gotta have that registered trademark symbol because it's registered. Bitches don't bother trying to use it. I will sue you. <laughs> so that's that. Um, I will add that to collection. If I make any other things, I might add it to the end of this vlog, but for now, this is the end of the vlog. So thanks for watching and um, keep an eye out for the apparel because we need money. Bye.